Hello and welcome to another Project Pan introduction. I'm very excited for this. This is the Last Call Project Pan and this was created by Kale Project Pan on Instagram. I will leave her Instagram below. And she basically said she was gonna pick some kind of last call items, wants to use them up by the end of the year. She picked products that she thought were kind of expiring or just kind of on their last legs kind of products that she just wanted to get out before the end of the year. And also Margarita is doing this project pan and I will link her YouTube as well. So I decided to pick products that one was in another project pan this year that I didn't finish and some other ones that I just kind of want to get out of my collection that I've thought about putting in other projects and I basically just didn't. So this is the last chance. I need to use these up. So let me show you what the product is. The first one I cannot mark. It's this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I've already bought a backup of this, which yeah, I know, probably didn't need to do, but I do really like it. But since I have a backup, I probably should get going and use up the first one I bought. I know, totally absurd, but I do really like it. it says there's 2.8 fluid ounces in this. And I mean, I, I really can't tell how much is in here. I have no idea. I'm guessing it's, I've only used a fourth of it or something like that, but it is a really nice setting spray. I do want to use it up. So there's that. Next up is a deluxe size sample of this Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I've had a full size of this foundation before and I did like it, but not quite enough to purchase it again. Um, but I like this and actually, so this color, what is the color? Y245. It's a bit dark, which is great right now because I have two other foundations and project pans that are actually too light. So this is perfect for mixing in with those. So I thought I'd throw it in. I don't like to have these deluxe sizes hanging around. I just kind of want to use this up and I don't think it'll take that long. I'm down to about here. This one I didn't mark, but I will try to do that. So the next item I have wanted to put in a project pan all year and I have not done it. So here it is. This is the Anastasia Liquid Glow Illuminator in Perla. So I can't really mark this. It's black packaging. I don't know. I thought I've used this a decent amount. I'm not sure. How much is in this? It's 0.68 fluid ounces. So it's a squeezy tube type thing. I don't know. I feel like there's some error in there, but honestly, I don't know. I like to use this mixed in with foundation. And especially once it's colder out, I do like to mix Luminizer in with my foundation. In the summer, I'm too oily for that. So I do wanna use this up. I like it, it's good, but I just wanna use it up. I've had it for almost a year, I think. So the time has come. This needs to get used up. Three more things. This is a deluxe size. Well, it's actually a half size of the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in Pink Champagne. I did mark it there. So I bought a set of these about a year ago. It was a holiday set and one of them did recently go bad. I used it and it tasted just gross and clearly it had turned so I threw it away. I've tried this one, it has not gone bad but if the other one went bad already, I don't know how long this is gonna last, so I want to use it up. These are not my favorite lip glosses anyway, but this color I really like, and I actually like this color better than the one that went bad. I have used up, I think, at least one of the other ones that was in this set already this year, so that is good. I need to get my money's worth out of that set. I don't know why I bought, I bought a set of six, and I don't even love this lip gloss formula. Ridiculous, but anyway, so I've marked it there. Hopefully I can get this used up because yeah, it's just not my favorite lip gloss and I don't want it to go bad. Another lip item, and this is one of the Bite Beauty lipsticks. This was in their holiday set last year. I'm seeing a theme here, holiday sets. So they're gonna release another one of these this year. I kind of want to get it because I don't have any of the colors, but and I really like the Amuse Bouche formula. This is the color Honeycomb, and this was in a project pan earlier this year and I got about halfway through it, so that is good. I feel like I should be able to finish this off. It's just a 
easy, everyday, regular nude. I do really like it. I like the color. I like the formula. It's a mini size. The problem with these that I'm finding is that the more you use them, they're so fragile. It's already kind of bending to the side and I have another one that's also kind of bending and starting to melt. So that is not my favorite about these minis. They're just too mushy and soft, but it's a nice lipstick formula. So hopefully I can get this out. Last up is an under eye powder. I wanna get this out of my collection. I do love it. It's the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. And this has been my holy grail under eye powder for a long time, but I did discover the Lancome Absolute Powder this year, which I like slightly better than this. And I have a whole container of that. I don't need two under eye powders. So I wanna get this out and I marked it. I didn't do a very good job marking it actually. Um, it's actually below where I marked it. So whatever, I guess, but that's where I am with that. I'd like to get this used up. I do really like it, but yeah, I, I only need to be having one face powder, one finishing powder, and one under eye powder. I don't need to have multiples of any of those just because it's totally redundant in my collection. So I want to get that used up. So yeah, those are the items in the last call, Project Pan. Check out Kale Project Pan on Instagram. Check out Margarita and let me know, are there any things that you're trying to just like get done before the end of the year? And thank you for watching.